Alrighty guys. Ouch, damn it. Uh, how's she going today? So we're down. So we're down here in the in the trees here. Um, I got some storms rolling in, but they're all heading strictly directly uh, east. Maybe you can see it all over there. Possibly rotation in that too. They're thinking so. They got us in for. Uh, they kind of just give. They just kind of gave us a heads up in case it should come our direction or whatever. Um, from what I could tell on the radar, it wasn't even going to go. It was, wasn't even going to do. It wasn't even going to hit us. Uh, give you an update on the grass and these seed that we put in. Still nothing. It might take um, all summer. Apparently there are there are oats in there too, so apparently the grass wouldn't even be done yet. And the oats got done, so whatever. Anyways, we got the new gate installed. Um, I think I'm still gonna have to do a couple of things to it. It's just a couple of things I'm not crazy for. Not oh, big ready too close. <clears throat> but anyways, this is the old uh, the rope and. You know, sign holding thing that worked actually pretty good, but it was kind of annoying. So, because I always had to unbolt it in order to get down in here. Damn big horse fly has been bothering the shit out of me the whole time I've been down here. Uh, what I ended up doing, I ended up moving this post right here. I moved it in about three and a half feet more, apparently. Or, let's see here. One, two, three. Well, it's just I moved it four feet, but it's supposed to be three and a half, but whatever. God. So, um, I still think I might change some things around, but for the most part, it's done. Big Red's kind of in the way. So, I'll kind of give you a walk around here. I had some spray paint left over, so I spray painted this board white. So it would show up because I know that I knew that the gate would probably be hard to see at night. Um, so I did that, and then I wrapped it around the, the pole here. Uh, it's just chained in place down there. That's supposed to be the hinging point of it, and then this end is going to be the locking end. And this is where I'm going to probably put my padlock, right here. What I'll probably end up doing is uh, taking the chain, the chain's about a foot long, going around the pipe, around the post, and then I'll just padlock it, I guess, where my hands are at. I was thinking maybe padlocking it to the gate itself, but I don't know if the padlock would fit through there. Um, we'll see. I still have to do a lot of tinkering around with it, but, uh, um, there are a couple things I think I'm going to do is I want to put some, uh, I found them on Norton Tool. They're about 15 bucks a piece. Little, uh, caster wheels. And I'm not sure how big the bolts are. If they're bigger than the holes that are in this thing, then I'll probably have to take the gate back up to the shop and drill those holes out bigger. Um, the only reason I want to do that is because as, as of right now, the gate's just sitting uh, directly on the ground. This way, it'll get the gate up a little bit higher, and it will allow the gate to roll. Or I can open it real nice. I might put one... I know I'm going to put one here... One on that end where it's hinged, and I might even put one in the center just to kind of so it doesn't flex so much. Um, the grass has to get out of here because the gate won't open with the grass there. It'll actually kind of there goes the siren. It will it will actually bend the gate. Um, as long as you pick up on it, it'll be all right. But with the siren, the fucking leave. And I gotta check myself for ticks later too. I found one on me already. I've been down here all afternoon. Um, so, and you can see this is the bolt where it was that rope was hung at. 
Um, I might leave the bolt there. I don't know. In case I, in case I want to put something else here later on, I can. It'll be there. I took that one out because it was short, but. So, but yeah, the gate does open. Like I said, it works. I don't know how I'm going to I'd be able to show you this. Um, there's probably no real good way of showing you. But let me try to see if I can get you guys prepped on something here. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh... Let's see here. Okay, so I don't know what you're seeing. Because I can't see the screen. But I'm just hoping that you guys, you'll be able to see it. But anyways, I'm just going to, you know, unhook it. Like, if it was locked, I just unlock it. And then, just pick up on it a little bit. Because it's on the ground and the weeds are in the way. Like, Damn fly, and the weeds are kind of in the way. So I'll just pick up on it. But yeah, those weeds are going to have to get out of there. Okay. And that's about as far as I can open it. That's about as far as I can open it. Until... I bring the trimmer down here and trim these weeds back and see what's in there. Um, it will also help too once I get some caster wheels put on it. Um, maybe I'll link the ones to the to the one to the ones I'm looking at. I don't know. I don't need huge things, you know, and they have to be um, weather resistant. And the ones I found apparently were rust resistant, so I'm not saying if they're waterproof. Well. At least rain resistant. They don't have to be waterproof. Because I'm taking this gate out for the winter. Absolutely no way in hell I'm leaving this thing down here during the winter months. I would. But the thing is I'd have to get down here before this, the flood came. Meaning. Come in here with the snow blower. Blow all the snow out. Chip the fucking fence out of the ice. That ain't worth it. Might as well just bring it up. Bring it up in late October. But uh, I'm going to widen this trail out. I mean you can see that I did, did do some brush hogging a couple days ago. Um, I think I actually could go a little bit more yet, so I'm going to do this by hand so I don't hit a stump or anything, and then I'm going to widen it here as well. Um, yeah, but I think making that board white was a good idea because the gate is dark, and they'd probably not be able to see that. Now, I probably could add some safety things to it. Um, like reflective markers, which wouldn't be a bad idea, because I actually got holes in the top of the gate. I got one here. Can't see because of the chain, but there's a hole there. Um, there's a couple of holes here, you know, because these are two bed frames put together. And then I got another one down here. So I have one, two, three, four places that I could, you know, bolt something to um, what I could do is what I might do I might bring a, I have a couple of those rods they're awful flexible though so I don't know might be alright um, well for here anyway what I'll probably end up doing is, you know, I had I got those ground rods that they were supposed to be used as ground planes, but it never helped any with the, with the radio setup. Um, maybe I'll just, I think they should fit in here because they're small. So what I'll do is I could put one in here, which actually I could just mount it to the pipe because the pipe's already there. I can't mount it there because the rope's got to be able to go with the gate. So I could put a, put a, a little, you know, one of those little rods here. It's a threaded rod bolt it in and then you know they're probably so tall 
and then um, just you know put the rope on there, and then just go all the way all the way to the end. You either hook it to the to the fence or to the gate or to the post. Um, so, but overall, I, it's you know surprisingly it's working okay. I'm a little bit worried that I might stress it out doing this. So, and of course, if you pick it up all the way, kind of it, it doesn't really do a lot to it. But once the weeds get out of here, it'll be a lot nicer on it. So the next time I mow, the uh, the gate you now rides up on the weeds, and then the fence is higher up. So. Um, Yeah, I'll have to get in, get some caster wheels. Um, at least two anyway. And then what I can do, see, got the gate closed, take the chain. Um, and then just somehow wrap it around. And then hit it with the padlock. And then that should hold it. So... That was a weird noise. But yeah, I, I'm going to have to adjust it though because, see again, it's not sitting right, but. Uh, it's probably going to need some caster wheels on it, I think. To get it, one, it'll get it probably an extra inch or two off. It'll get it off the ground. Sitting on the ground like this, it'll probably rust out real quick. And of course, it having holes in it don't help in any either, because then the rain will get inside and rot it from the inside out. So I probably should bring some electrical tape or some... Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I got another freaking tick on me. Fucking bastard. I felt them walking. I, can, I felt something on my stomach. So, that's one tick down. Fucking ticks are terrible this year. Um... Apparently ticks have some kind of a disease in them now or something too, which is nothing new, but... Yeah, so... You gotta be careful with those ticks. Apparently if, they, if, they, if, they're, if they're on your body more than 24 hours, that's when they'll start sucking your blood and giving you diseases. <laughs> so that's just wonderful. Um, but yeah, I don't think this pipe will come out, and if it does, I can drive it a little further in the ground. Um, I don't think it will. I'll have to maybe readjust it, but, yeah, I don't know. I think it'll be all right. The gate's not sitting perfect with it, though. But, uh, what's going on here, you bastard? But, yeah, I think, uh, it, it, it'll, I think it'll work. The chain's down there now, but once I put a padlock on it, it won't go anywhere. So that's what she'll look like. Um, of course, you got the white board, so that's that's pretty noticeable. You know, and to the end. And the gate's only the gate is only 160 inches long, um, but it's still more than wide enough to get a tractor through here. You just won't be able to get. A big articulating tractor in here, especially if it's got duels. Um, so, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on there. Um, finally got the gate up. Still got some fine tuning to do with it, though. Um, I got to come back tonight yet with a padlock and, and a bag. To... <laughs> Truckers are fighting at the border again. So. But yeah, just got to get the weeds out of here. Um, have to hit it, hit it with the trimmer. Uh, if I get it up on some caster wheels, it'll help it a little bit because some of the weeds will be able to go right underneath the gate. So, so. But yeah, that's pretty much what she's going to look like um, here all summer. And there's no way you can lift this gate. It's just it's just way way too heavy to lift. And you know, so 
So, and I might even leave that bolt in there until it, you know, so it rots over. Then you won't be able to lift the chain over that because I got to keep the chain tight. I got to keep the chain tight because then the gate will kind of slop around a little bit. So, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much what, that's what's going on. I like this white though. I had one half a can of white paint left. I didn't touch up the other side though, but just this side, just mostly for safety, so people could, could kind of see it. But huh. um, there's still a possibility that I might put those rods in and then run a yellow rope on, above this, like this stuff. You know, I got another roll of that laying around yet, so. If it's long enough, I'll be able to run it right to the end. It doesn't even have to go all the way, just enough to kind of get some notice out of it. Or you could put uh, yellow flags or orange flags on it, whatever. They're sitting there on top of the dike. They probably can see me standing over here videotaping. They want to see you too. You want to be on YouTube? Be on the YouTubes. So, but yeah, I just got to come back with a padlock now and a bag to wrap it up so the rain doesn't really rot it out. I think I've done that before and it still kind of rotted it out, but, um, so it's just some extra protection for it. So, hey, looky there, they're coming down. So. But yeah, that's that's what's gonna do it. My gate project, she's up and ready to go. All I gotta do is padlock it, and she's good. Um, redneck, yeah. Will it help? Sure. I don't care if the deer jump over it. I don't really know if a person could jump over this. I mean, you'd have to really be doing some Chuck Norris or some ninja moves to get over it. I mean, I can't. I ain't gonna break my bass trying to get over it, but. You're not going to be able to get your four-wheeler through here. And if I find out people are, are jumping over it, then I'll put those rods in, you know, to give it some extra height and even just weld it all together or something. But there you go. She's ready to go. Ready for the 2017 future use. I just hope it doesn't rot out very quick. I, would wish, I hope it'll last me, you know, at least five years. So, but I, overall, I like it, you know, but it'll work. I just got to do some minor stuff to it. I want to get those caster wheels put on it. So I'm not, uh, you know, letting it rot in the ground. Anyway, guys, I'm going to tag off. I'm going to go keep an eye on these four-wheelers, see what they're going to be up to. And, uh... See if we can catch someone else trespassing. Right now, I think they're staying on their side. But, never can be too sure, right? So, anyways, guys, I guess that's it for the gate project. Um, we're done. Just a minor tuning to go. Help a couple of uh, scalper caster wheels put on her or whatever. And she'll float a lot nicer, so. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take off. So, I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.